Reading is good for you. I agree. But then there's also... What? You haven't read that novel? Oh my! But wait a minute. I think I read a lot. To create this video, I read all sorts of materials, but I didn't read the latest must-read novel. Does that mean I didn't really read? What counts as reading? Stick around and let's think about that. Hello, welcome to Snap Language. I'm Mark Franco. If you search the internet for what should I read, you'll get millions of hits. Strangely, most of the websites will recommend books, you know, like literature or literary texts. BuzzFeed even matches your favorite TV show with books you should read, and they actually do a good job. There are some exceptions, of course, like Locus Online, which includes nonfiction books. YouTube has many great videos on what to read. Maybe YouTubers are on the right track because they recommend a wider variety of materials. Still, as a generalization, it's as if reading is synonymous with reading books, and books are synonymous with literary books. How about non-literary texts? Does it count if you read a magazine? Does it count if you read a newspaper? How about reading about your favorite hobby? A cookbook? Even when people talk about the benefits of reading, well, they talk about the benefits of reading books. Scientific studies have shown that reading is beneficial to the health of your brain. In general, these studies compare avid readers and light or non-readers, or they test people who are reading to see what's happening in the brain. An avid reader. What exactly does that mean? You read a lot of novels and short stories? If you read both literary and non-literary materials, are you only half avid? When you read a novel, you live what happens in the story. Non-fictional texts are different, but you still process information, so they also activate the brain. Like when you're reading some cool scientific... Whoa! The New York Public Library website offers a variety of information many literary books, blog articles, and even a podcast with excellent information that you can read and listen to. I say good for you, you awesome librarians, for providing all these awesome materials and resources for our pleasure. So what's the message here? I believe the purpose of reading is to understand the content or the message that writers want to communicate to us. And ideas can be communicated through a novel, a letter, a newspaper article, a poem, a thank you note, a recipe, a comic strip, a blog, a pamphlet, an editorial, a one ad, a book review, a short story, a speech. Whew. You get the point. If you only read one type of texts, could you be missing out on something? That's why libraries have all sorts of materials. We communicate knowledge in many ways, so you must read different types of texts. That's what makes humans so special. We also read for different reasons. You can read to learn or study, or you can read simply because it's enjoyable, not because it's required of you. In fact, some research suggests that differences in children's reading habits are reduced when children choose materials on their own. We've also known for a long time that avid readers choose the materials they want to read. What if you don't enjoy reading? Well, try reading about something that interests you first, and it doesn't matter what it is. Before committing to it, skim the materials first to make sure it's something you really want to read. Be consistent, maybe 15-20 minutes every day. If you choose your own materials, you may even come to realize that reading can actually be enjoyable. As a result, you may find yourself reading more than just 15-20 minutes a day and choosing materials that you didn't used to find enjoyable before. So, do you agree? What counts as reading? I'd love to hear what you think, so leave a comment below so you and other people in our community can start having a conversation about this. And if you like this video, have you hit the like button yet? This one, not, not this one. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to Snap Language so you don't miss any videos. And thanks for stopping by and watching this video.